hello and welcome back to Pillars. We're just about to check out the gods of this island. Living at Drown Barrows. Who apparently likes kids quite a bit. Uh, eat them. <clears throat> a mountain commands the northern horizon. Its cliff face the likeness of a rotted skull. Scavenger birds circle high above its peak in, to, in a morbid hollow. Go north. As you approach the base of the mountain, the beating of drum reverberates from the skull's gaping mouth and vacant eye sockets. Step through the mouth! The overhanging jaw and upper palate eclipse the sky, an echo of voices from the throat of the mountain signal that you aren't alone. We better go in the, the main door! See that we do not mean any harm, we just come here to... Say hello! We kinda need a... Wow! I just realized we need to work on our cover. Probably it doesn't matter too much because we probably gonna kill these guys. Because uh, what the dwarves think that uh, the ogres are defending them? And I'm not sure if that's true. Perhaps like perhaps it is true. Big evil monster statue at the entrance. I've got a good feeling about this. Me too. Oh, really? Getting attacked already? So, so long for people are uh, getting defended here. How do you target that thing? Well, that this is small. Whoa, we're paralyzed. Immobilized. What is going on here? Ao ten. Wow, more of them coming in. Boros guard. They seem pretty strong. Okay, let's do a terrify on them. Whoa! Oh, did the wrong thing. I managed to. Freezing pillar the enemy entire team I got. This is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Do a heal. We need to live through this. And we need to run away. Oh boy, it's gonna kill the entire team. If I try to run away, we're gonna take damage. Oh, I'm terribly sorry about that. Guys, don't die. Run away, run away. Don't die. <laughs> There was guard. We need to kill that guy as well. Hopefully, we don't gonna pull any uh, more of them. Oh! I hear you. Wait, what? Did we manage to break combat? I'll just do a heal. Alright, that's good. Hey, Oten Dweller. There was guard. I'm gonna die. Oh, come on. We make so many friends. Where are you going, L10? You need to die. He's chasing some enemies. Or he's going back to his uh, starting location. This is where you like to sleep. Oh boy. He's dead. Superb, superb, superb. Not bad. Uh, they own decent stuff around here. A lot of superb stuff again. Exceptional, superb, superb. Alright, uh, that's not... That's nothing really special for me at this point. But yeah, it's good to see. 
I would more like to see legendaries if we can find uh, some of those. Uh, that would be nice. <clears throat> Super Brapier. Hey guys, came for dinner. Let's go. Magus? Like they have this uh, under control. Mega Acolyte. It's terrified. Not something that I uh, automatically cast. Not sure I got terrified. Wow. Really? Okay, let's terrify them. Should I drop a freezing pillar on them? Could help. It could be a bit crazy. This thing isn't doing the job. Pretty much fine now. Bunch of magas. Hey, okay. Fine swords, super bows. No problem. Yeah, they all have this garbage. What have we here? Hmm. Why can't I loot it? Where do you click on this thing? <laughs> okay. Let's do a quick load. Maybe that's gonna help. So, I'm curious what's gonna be the story behind the mountain. Because they're not exactly benevolent. I suppose they don't even try to come up as benevolent. Superb two handed sword. Just like, hey, give us some guys and we will defend you. But is that okay? Seems like the dwarfs don't really have much of a choice. Hey, Elton Dweller. Actually, they're just attacking me. I, I literally just came here to maybe talk, but seems like, okay, I was pretty open to the idea of killing them all, but I was, I was also open to the idea of talking, maybe I was, maybe some silly story is, uh, well, they have some silly story, maybe the Eotan are using those dwarfs and, uh, well, Although they are separated from their family, they just live uh, pretty happy lives over here. Who knows? Could be the thing. But seems like that's not the case. Let's go. Death word and Latuk. Deep reflex. What is this? Yeah, that has a pretty good range. Actually, we're casting the wrong, wrong spell. Actually, never mind that. We're gonna go with that. Let's terrify them. Yeah, they're super dead. Yeah. 
they immune to a lot of things. Why was he charmed? Hmm. Probably started charming him a long time ago. What are you doing? Death Ward and Latouk. Remember what I'm seeing uh, t starting on half of the damned would have been acceptable. Most fights are... are not that challenging. Some fights are more challenging. But I don't really mind not challenging fights as much as, as long as they can be uh, fought uh, fast. Because in some turn-based games, you just have those fights that you know you're gonna win. But it still takes a long time to do it. Like, yeah, I, I've, I've, I've lost interest in games because, uh, because of that. It was, just, it was just too much time. Whoa, that's that's a lot. Because the bigger fights just just took too long. Way too long. <clears throat> this is not the case here. Also we have scale up as well. So we shouldn't have that many stupidly easy fights. We here. For some reason, it seems like the auto pauses um changed. No longer automatically stops the what did you the team, which is a bit odd. Speak for <laughs> See that, Ishii? Don't don't run there. Hmm. Am I supposed to put it out? What about Chili Fog? Come on. Chili Fog doesn't do it. If Chili Fog doesn't do it, then nothing does it. Yeah. Would help if you don't mind. Wow, we took damage. So this is how we proceed, and uh, but but they actually left a uh, room at the start of this cave, I believe. Maybe two rooms. I just came came to the wrong direction. It's the well, it's the right direction, but we didn't explore the dead end, and. Exploring the dead end is uh, what it's all about. You always want to explore the dead ends first. Hey guys, what's up? Uh oh, uh oh, no, 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 go back. No, that's, I didn't want to close it. I just want to know what this is. Immune to pierce and slash, but that's it. Eh, won't work. What? Why can't you go there? How about do uh? Yeah, I think that should take them out. Sure. Done. Oh, might be still active. I'll be good. Oh boy. Why does it cause an injury? Uh oh. Okay, that's too much. Can't rest while in combat? We're not in combat. Oh boy. Traps are dangerous, not because they... I don't know, I, I guess they are not that dangerous, but like, they are pretty dangerous. Just because you get injuries because of them. Wow. Really? So what we have here? The gates of death, we can go up and down. Okay. I don't know. Maybe should we should have checked out the place uh, 
Really? The crown? We found earlier. Barrow's guard. So we have three locations we can explore, which is definitely not what I expected. Let's terrify them a little bit. Actually, I clicked on the wrong skill now. Terrified! They're all terrified. How do you feel about a little bit of frost? Just use the best skills. I guess we can get out the phantom. Mm. I can freeze them again. They're getting destroyed pretty savagely back there. That's it. Superb gear. Nothing really legendary here. possible that we, when we actually find legendary gear, it is just gonna be um, named, I suppose. So where the hell we go? Gates of Death, Shrine of Nemrock, Drowned Baron's Crown, I don't know. This is not what I expected. This is not just a quick place where we pop in and like... Two ogres pretending to be gods. That's not what we have here. Something else is going on here. What's this? I already told those Aeots and Clods we're at capacity for scribes and acolytes. Those incessant drums have beaten our guards senseless. A robed acolyte curls his lip and advances on you with a look of frank appraisal. We aren't accepting new recruits. Now Prezel. go! Our progress wallows as you degrade the left eye with your presence. People in here might be crazier than outside. I'm looking for Kali. The new boy. Nemnok fawns over him in the lower sanctum. Thanks. Only acolytes, ogres, and naga go down there, and any of them would chew you to pieces. He smirks. His smirk grows wider still, flashing a hint of teeth. You couldn't see it in your heart to let me through. What spasm of unreason compels you to ask this? No. Who are these guys? If the skull does not open to me, I will crack it apart. Acolytes? We knew this day would come. Kinook raises his fingers to his lips and blow blows a piercing whistle that echoes through the barrows. That was about as useful as a bump on a pickle. Still Are they coming in my back? Rotten Dweller. Evasive roll. Oh boy, we need to kill the Acolyte first. Leave it to me. What's going on here? Actually, we found some legendary gear. Legendary padded armor that gives you nine armor and twenty recovery time. I do have some legendary armor already. Like this is legendary, thirty-five, basically fifteen percent more recovery time. Actually, articulated, so even better. It's like 15%. This is just straight up better than 
that garbage. Legendary again, 15% more recovery time or two more base armor. Legendary again. Legendary again. Wow, I have some legendaries. The Garari skin is... Makes it even better. Superb. How about just use this? Legendary. Legendary light armor. Looks good. What? What's up with this broom? Street sweeper? I didn't expect this to be a... Actually... Actual weapon. Doesn't really matter. It's basically like a quarter staff with uh, pointless abilities. Superb. Hmm. Maybe do a uh, frightening instead. It, it will have a pretty low uh, chance to work, but not too bad. Yeah, Acolyte, how about you die? Got it. Hmm. This place is huge. Oh, never mind that. Even more guys. Don't fight them. I'm listening. Let's go. You were saying? I like the staff. Right between the eyes. We're dropping lots of just because the Shiza died doesn't mean anything. Can't just lower their deflection and armor. Come on, take him out. Well, I believe it. This guy is a guard. Your audience stance, vigorous defense, whatever. Oh, now we charm them. Great. It doesn't matter just to take him out. What did you find, Ishii? Note on the forge. Let this serve as a general reminder that the flame naga are sensitive to disruption. If you must venture downstairs, try and give Forgemaster Titus a wide berth while she's at work. Many of her staff have not enjoyed favorable encounters with Kit in the past and used the forge as kind of a creative outlet, so let's all do our part to keep them comfortable. Hmm? So what was going on here? The Naga were preparing the dwarfs to defend themselves. I don't know. Pretty good chance to hit. Freezing pillar. Uh oh. Uh, so sure, the Perus guard is getting hit. That's good for us. Just really hope that Adair doesn't get killed. Super. 
Superb. Yeah, that's good. Sure. No problem. Ready to bro this place is huge. That was about as useful as a bump on a pickle. It's almost as big as the old city. Or, who knows, maybe even bigger. Did you just reach him? I like this stat. Quite a bit. Yeah, he's ordered that. So, nothing here. Oh, come on, really? Suffering an injury for the trap? I find it really hard to believe that people would trap their own home. Aren't intruders so common around here? What if we here? I mean, I get it. It can really get intruders, but it's a lot more likely that you're gonna get yourself. No? Deathfire Archipelago. Just by accident. Wonder what happened here. John Barrows, that's where we came from. This is a place we didn't go towards. That's by Archipelago again. What do you need? Okay. Let's go outside. Hmm. What does this mean? Like, where, where are we heading? Are we just heading out of the temple? I'm not really against that, but... Uh, <clears throat> it's a bit odd. I guess they that's why they had the traps. Because that was an entrance and... Uh, uh, well, a trapped entrance, I suppose. Well, we're going in, of course. Climb up the eyes? Maybe... Climb in the right eye? Enter. Maybe this is... This is where you enter, if you actually climb in the eye. So if my theory is correct, we're gonna actually enter the entire place at the same map we left, at the right. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Traps and locks, party gains some XP. So, what was going on here? And actually, I wouldn't be against if uh, it wasn't very well explained because I suppose I went a little bit gun ho, gun ho it over here. N not as much. I literally came in here, got attacked, got attacked repeatedly. I suppose I could have chosen, cho chose to. Uh, go away. The only uh, guy that I intentionally attacked were the the dwarfs, who told me to uh, fuck off um, when I was well when I inquired about the new recruit that I actually intend to save. Although I suspect that uh, these guys uh, are the guys that that were requested by the Eotans, or perhaps the Nagas, and they, I don't know, worship some worship somebody, or who knows what they're doing. Anyway, we're gonna run out of mountains soon. Yeah, this, this goes up. We lay down our lives before your magnificent. Remove yourself from my presence. <laughs> Damn. 
reap what I sow. Need some stronger. Need some. Oh, I, I couldn't stop them. They were running too fast. Seriously? The Nagger just said that I should remove myself from her presence, then attack me instantly. So it seems like that's what's going on here. Uh, the people can't go there. Uh, the people from the village or the settlement are turned into worshippers by the Naga. And they are pretty much disrespected. They couldn't even tell that I was not part of the regular worshippers, I suppose. Yeah, worshipper. Show them how it's dumb. Exceptional, superb. Done and done. Come on, guys. Oh, Nemnok the Devourer. Oh, he has some defenses. I'm a little bit bummed that we didn't get to talk with them. Should I just go there? Looks like Kali is gonna die now. Okay, I'm a little bit bummed. Let's, if we have the option. Let's load. Just see what the hell is going on. Maybe, can we save? Cannot save while in combat. Okay, whatever. So that means we would need to redo this combat a little bit. But, you know, I'm just too curious at this point. What the hell is going on here? Because we just, we're just going to kill Nemnok here. And although I'm... I, I tried to go with... Uh, whatever happens... Whatever happens, just happens, and that's gonna shape the story, but at this point I would mind some answers, so... Like, it's just a bit silly to get attacked just because we went close to the Nagas. Mighty Nemnok, we laid down our lives before your magnificence. What's oh. this? Who trespasses on our devotions? The echo light voice echoes across the hall. The resounding chant from the worshippers continues uninterrupted. Nemnok, Nemnok. Nemnok. You've taken your last step in the Master's Sanctum, Outlander. Nemnok will suck the marrow from your soul. I met your father, Kali. M my My father is a disbeliever. I have risen above him. Kali balls his fist at his side and turns to look away. Nemnok is the All Devourer, the one who swallows gods and vomits forth their skulls. The one true power of Aora. Let me show you. See for yourself. Um, uh, don't do anything foolish now. He draws the blade across his palm and hisses through clenched teeth, leaning over the mouth of the pit. Kali lets his blood drip down. A hot breeze gusts from somewhere below. Nem -nock. Nem -nock. Something's coming. I don't like this feeling, Captain. Silence! Kali grimaces and redoubles his prayers with more fervent conviction. Nemnok, you are the gaping maw, the lidless eye, the shadow between stars. You are the red curtain, the secret in amber, the light of the Audra. You know what, Nemnok? If you just come out here and you want to kill Kali, I am 100% on board with that. Hey, I even give throw in a bonus. I might kill him before uh, you. How about that? Chant Nam Nak. Yes. Now you can see. Overjoyed, Kali raises a dagger and draws another deep line down his palm. He throws his head back and roars with laughter. Nam -nock. Nam -nock. Beloved Nam Nak, come forth. And let all non-believers wither before your killing stare. Kali holds out his arms. The air from the pit roars like an approaching inferno. Yes! Yes! 
Nemnok comes. Renounce Nemnok or die. The chant of the acolytes rises to a fever pitch as the enormous form rises from the pit and flaps its leathery wings. A pair of eyes, like cut gems, uh, cut gems, narrow to study you. Damn, not. You know how to make an entrance. After a moment of completive silence, the creature simply turns its focus away without care. What have you brought me, supplicant? It gestures with an open claw, focusing on Kali. Sacrifices, mighty Nemnok! Behold! Kali gestures toward your party. What the fuck, Kali? I chanted Nemnok! Nemnok! The worshippers around the circle raise their hands and cheer. What? I suppose they were the one, uh... To be sacrificed. You'll have to get through my bird first. Then knock me up, present Kali, my sacrifice to you. Silence fills the hall, Kali's expression falls, his cheeks losing their color. Then Namlock's jaw split into a wide grin. A tempting offer, <laughs> but I sense another master has their hold over you. Yep. Namlock squints and points a long talon at your heart. I am the only master under this mountain, child. If you will not serve, your blood will fill the inkwells of my loyal scribes. Namnak's tooty grin broadens, eliciting a cry of joy from the worshippers. Well, it's pretty hard to intimidate this guy. <laughs> you look like a giant imp to me. Ah, you have seen more of the world than I guessed. But I am more than your studious eye could perceive. You're just a big imp. Every scroll and grimoire my servants collect swells my power, child. Now, now you, now you blew it. You called me a child. Namnok spreads open his arms. Their supplicants mirror the gesture. And with power, I will reign a terror long overdue on all who resist me. You're still just a giant imp. I, mighty one. Kali turns to regard Nemnok with wide eyes. Is your faith so brittle that it can be challenged by an outlander? <laughs> Nemnok's eyes narrow further, its massive head shakes with disapproval. Through knowledge, I am stronger than any mortal. Submit to me, child. Resist and you shall perish. What are your terms of surrender? Terms? I'm not blinks at you. My covenant is this. Gather grimoires of power from beyond the mountain. Return them to me as a sign of your devotion. Your surrender, not my surrender. Do this knowing at all times that I am your god. I am your god. No, no, no. You're, you're completely misunderstood the question. Fortune and glory await loyal service. Namnog gestures to a pile of treasure under the looming statue. Fortune and glory, in that case I surrendered the mutually beneficial to the mutually beneficial agreement. I'm leaving, try and stop me, imp. I have duties to other gods beyond this mountain. Let's finish this imp. Should I Ah oh, come on, this guy has to die. I have duties to the other gods beyond this mountain. I'm leaving. Try and stop me. I don't know. We, we ran out of fun uh, conversation options. Damn it! I'm leaving. Try, try to stop me. Try and stop me. You are honored to die by my hand. Accept this blessing. Namnak points a long claw and screeches as he swoops in to attack. The acolyte take up a spirited cheer. Namnak, Namnak. Can we chant Namnak while we're killing him? That would be hilarious. Uh oh. This is not gonna go well for them. I have a feeling. Hey, give me a hand here. 
she's out. Uh, just don't be crazy, okay? Ma'am, not. Ma'am, not. Okay, maybe time to terrify some fools into submission. Mainly the ones that are around us. Okay, uh, we're taking some damage. No problem. Nemdok the Devourer. Oh, Kali dead, I guess. Who are we resurrecting? Oh, Shiza. Um, actually, I'm not a huge fan of that. Maybe I'm just gonna take out the Resurrect People AI. It's a shame that you can't, uh... Uh, just... Disable it. At least momentarily. But yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna kick it. Because it's usually not what I wanna do. Screwed in a warlock. So this Namnok is kind of hard to hit. Namnok the Devourer. Fairly sturdy. Do we have a blessing? Yeah, we have devotions of the faithful on everybody. Which is really good. Plus 20 from devotions of the faithful. It's really good. Is he resistant to any kind of effects? Acolytes. Nam not. Nam not. After us. Can you just kill the acolyte? Stuck over here. I'll prioritize that. Feels like waiting for mud up to my armpits. Who are that rock? Kind of hard to get him. I have to admit that. No. My amulet. What? What amulets? Can we just, uh... What? His amulet is broken? Hey! Yeah. Barrow's guard! Okay, never mind that. We got a thing to do. No good to me. Apparently. Let's do a heal. What? You brought more worshippers? Oh, this thing actually deals some damage. Spiritual ally. Stay back! Not any closer. It's gonna die. That is a certainty at this point. This thing isn't doing the job. Let's go. Can't make a dent. Can we just uh focus down the guys that are just small and pathetic? Good and stuck. Are we a petrified? Defense. If so, you should just go and cast it over here. That's fine. Immobilized? Sure. But it doesn't matter. What a fight. Oh. 
Is she gonna heal? She should. Oh, she's busy doing the spirit. This thing isn't doing the job. Oh no, we managed to pull more guys. Lessons be upon you. Let's go. That's not great. Okay, might as well terrify them. They're both terrified. Done. We're good now. Killing him with anything is hard. He's only deep to slash. Somewhat. What can I do you for? I hope nobody saw that. Not even close. Yeah, the right fall is kind of crappy. I don't know, priest level 5 spells are kind of bad. Nah, I'm not. Nah, I'm not. If you already replenish. What's the chance? Oh, actually, it doesn't have a deflection check or what? Or because he's on this ass? Me too. Yeah. Need something strong. Yeah. You be right screwed. Let's do the hammer. Better than that. Did it work? I need something strong. Toss me something else. It doesn't seem to. Yeah, it worked on Nam Nog, but this needs to hit as well. And not that easy. Nam not. Nam not. Come on, come on, Nam not. Oh. As fizzling energy dissipates and the dust of the battle clears, all that remains is a shattered amulet and a tiny injured imp. A chanting of acolytes ends with a gasp. But, but it's already pretty over. No, 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 no! Nemnok's amulet! Nemnok's wondrous jewel! Scrambling, Nemnok picks up the two halves of the now oversized medallion and tries to fit them together. The metal pieces fall apart the instant Nemnok lets them go. Ah, broken forever! No! You no kill Nemnok, eh? Kind Nemnok! Dim covers back and raises its claws shuffling closer to the edge of the pet. You're adorable. Oh, how can we stay mad at you, little guy? Curse you, ground stink. Most mightiest of all is Nemnok, eh? Amulet made Nemnok smart. Smart enough to read magic books. All gone. Nemnok clutches its head and lets out a prolonged howl. Nasty Archimere never taught imps to read. House full of books, eh? Nemnok kicks a stone, sending it clattering into the pit. Nemnok stole his pretty jewel. Learned to read, grew strong, grew big, eh? Then you become a bully! Nemnok said someday he fly back and free the others. Give them books too. That's bullshit, you were ruling over these dwarfs over here. Look at the table next to you. Bunch of corpses. Bunch of skeletons with like... lined with the... Uh, skulls. Just go, don't wanna hear about you causing any trouble. This this is insane. I suppose Archimede didn't want you to get out of control. Maybe it wasn't fair, but look where it brought us. Now I feel bad. Would you like to join me in my travels? <laughs> oh, let's do that. Blinking up at you, Nemnok cocks its head. Nemnok was God. Nemnok had riches, acolytes, power. Now must be pet. Yes! Hell yeah! Pet or dead! You your choice. There's money in my pack, if you ever feel like cozying up to it. <laughs> okay, whatever. I don't want to say that. Pet or dead? Edging closer, Nemnok inspects your belongings and wrinkles its nose. Offering the tiniest of shrugs, Nemnok opens the flap up to your travel supplies, climbs inside and rests its head on a small mound of copper pyres. A moment later, you hear gentle snoring. This is awesome. I'm not. Right 
won't hunt. That was just too fun not to do. It had to happen. See you must me too. Alright, let's see what we got here. Garbage. Wait, what? No, well, not as garbage. Legendary light armor. Pretty not garbage. Pretty much not that. Still, not amazing. What else we have here? What else is here? Exceptional hide armor. I'm, I'm really glad that we did that because it was fun. It was fun. Damn knock, damn knock. I didn't do it out of, uh, um, I suppose kindness. Maybe killing, well, probably killing his the uh, right idea. Oh, Veil Purser, legendary bow, war bow. Okay. Let's see what accuracy against spirits, veil piercing attack. Okay. Plus 15% damage is raw. Uh, minus 20% beneficial effect duration on scoring hit. That's really good. That's a really good bow. I don't know why the damage seems so low. But it's a good bow. They have piercing attack. Superb war bow. So if anyone wants to use that... Like, oh, why do you like Arcubus so much? Not sure what to make of it, but she's really good with Arcubuses. I guess I just have to be on board with that. Do you wanna use a uh, hunting bow instead? War bow? War bow superb? Yeah, I got one or two of those. Apparently at this point. Super Vorbo, yeah. Maybe that's what Seraphim is gonna use. A legendary. It has pretty good damage. Two damage types. Damage is raw. Pretty good accuracy versus deflection. But this deals so much more damage. Anyway. Just try it. Wait. What for, Cap? Let's go with that. What else we got here? Legendary quarterstaff. Incre okay. Let's see the new things. All acid power levels, all electricity power levels, fire power levels, frost power levels. That's actually good for the main character. So charge plus ten percent staff damage increases with metaphysic skill. Action speed increases with metaphysic skill. What the hell? If you have really high metaphysics, this staff is insane. What? How's that? That's, that staff is insane. Really? What? Seriously? Is this like 10% per metaphysics? Or up, up to 10%? Because it does matter quite a bit, but... Even like this, it's a, it's a really good main weapon uh, for the Watcher. Look at that staff, it's, it's insane. It's truly insane. 35 to 47? Yeah, that's that's insane. 3.9, 3.6? Yeah, every 4 seconds hit for a stupid amount. What's the last? Mundane shell, medium one-handed legendary shield that gives resistance to some spells. So it basically a uh, anti anti spell shield. We can have that on uh, him. Right there, do you want to use that? Except the large exceptional shield, heavy shard improves with. Athletic skill, so this obviously has more uh, deflection. But do you even need that much deflection? 
we want to use the medium mundane shell instead. Oh, actually it matters a lot. It drops 12 points. I don't know if he can do that. If anything, I would like to enchant this to superb and whatnot. Damage taken from all sources. Alright. Done and done. Do we have some Nagas over here? No. We already killed them all. Nam rock! Nam rock! That was awesome. And we still need to clean out some of this cavern, I suppose. Shrine of Nimrock. So that's the that's where the skull is, the top of this Gates of Death. This is where is the cave of Nimrock. And this is where he possibly has some magic books, apparently. Or at least, uh, this is the only place that we didn't explore yet. <laughs> well, can we check out Nemrock? No, no, it's not worth the city yet. He's in my bag now. Damn. I should have killed him. <laughs> he's gonna, he's totally gonna escape. What about the amulets? It's probably destroyed, right? Yeah. Legendary robe. Do we know what kind of price it has? 5,040? Uh, yeah. I don't know if anyone wants to use that. I don't think you can enchant it further, so that's a bit of a bummer. Can we enchant further some kind of legendary gear? Like this one. If you can actually get rid of the recovery time over here, that could be good. No. No. Layered. No. It seems like uh, it has a limited uh, number of enchantments you can uh, put on the gear. Actually, enchanting uh, stuff is just pretty damn expensive. Oh, is it? Oh, it's small! Nice. That's kind of what I was hoping for. Namnok's cloak. What the hell is this? Cape. More damage taken, but ability triggers when the uh, wearer falls to 75 health. Grant spirit shield. Uh, yep. Ability triggers when wearer falls to 50% health. Iron skin. Barring death, uh, death door. I don't really care about this, actually. Like, it's okay. It's actually one per rest, so be probably gonna sell that. <laughs> and we can. Ah, the thing is, we don't really have a, a happy ending here because that guy was crazy, and we had to kill him. And we can't just go back to the town and say like, "Hey, I find your son. He was, um, killing people, and I decided that." Um, well, he just killed himself, right? Basically. Wait. Oh yeah, never mind that. I'm dumb. Okay. <laughs> this place is dark, though. We need to get outside. And, uh... Think about what we're gonna say to the dwarf man. Did that knock actually... Defend this uh, island? Actually, I don't think uh, that is false. But uh, his excessive desire to be worshipped uh, definitely didn't help these people around here. It could have been the first nice imp. Anyway, guys, that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching, and see you next time.